There is an easier way to find center of rotation without using a tracing paper or compass. All you need is the, the trusty ruler like this. That's all. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a ruler, a ruler to find the center of rotation. Okay. So here are the steps. First, you find the corresponding point, like this, and you join it. You repeat the same for another pair, and you have the center of rotation. But do bear in mind, this is only work for 180 degrees. For 90 degrees, it didn't work. And if you do take note of the past year question, most of the question are 90 degrees. Don't worry, I have you covered here. So for 90 degrees, here is how you find it. Okay, you do the same. Identify the corresponding pairs and you draw the line. Okay, for 90 degrees, remember, if you can recall, you need to construct the perpendicular bisector. Okay, okay, so to do this, you need a midpoint. So you need to find a midpoint. You can either measure, use a ruler to measure, and or you just can. Just count the box. In this case, you have 10 boxes here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And it should be 5 on both sides. The center will be here. Okay. So to use a ruler to draw the perpendicular by sector we draw, okay? We use the corner of your ruler here. Just put it something like this. Okay, we use the corner, put like this, and then draw a line. Okay, you repeat the same step for another point. Put your ruler and draw the line. You should get two perpendicular bisector. Okay, and the intersection point here will be the center of rotation. Super easy, right? So. Remember, all you need is a ruler. If you find this tip is helpful, do like and share with your friend. And remember to subscribe. I'll see you again. Bye-bye.